case? Yes, sir. Um, the next two items on your agenda are from the city of Pejara. They involve the same property and from the same applicant. Um, the first one is a rezoning request. The second one is the annexation request. You may recall from earlier annexations and the discussions at a work session, uh, pursuant to state law, we have to act on these, what seems to be in backwards order. Um, but I think for discussion purposes, we can go ahead and discuss them together as one, perhaps even take the public hearing as one. Um, but when you actually vote on your motion um, to approve or not approve, um, you need to vote on them separately. Um, and doing HA01 first, which is the rezoning request, and then follow that with the annexation request. These are properties that are being requested for annexation and rezoning by Melissa Bowman and Lawrence Nelson. They consist of a, a one parcel totaling 0 0.089 acres, um, or 0 0.89 acres, currently located on the eastern tip of the city of Pekara. On the map on your screen and also in your packet, you see the zoning patterns. That purplish magenta line is the current city limit boundary. You see the water's at sub subdivision up in the northeastern part of the city. If you were to extend those boundaries to a triangular point, um, that is one parcel that was not included in the annexation about 20 years ago when Water's Edge was first being developed. Um, so the applicants, uh, Ms. Bowman is the owner of the property, are requesting to annex this piece. Um, the purpose of the annexation is to obtain water and sewer services from the city of Pejara. Um, there is no plans for redevelopment of the property. They have requested R10 zoning. Um, staff is recommending R15 zoning instead. And when you look at the Waters Edge subdivision, it is currently zoned R15. Um, staff did receive an email this morning um, from Mr. Nelson, um, one of the co-applicants, who has agreed to the R15 zoning for the property. We do have that in writing now. Um, future land use map, character areas, the suburban area, uh, which encompasses this part of the city limits. Beyond that, you get into the agricultural forest area, the unincorporated area, and then the area where you see the development pattern, uh, Lars Edge, which was developed back in the mid-90s, um, in a lot of rural and semi-rural area around it. Um, the property itself has a single-family residence, um, which is here in this picture. And the next door, going back toward town, you have more single-family homes. Eastward along 122, you very quickly turn into the rural pattern and then farmland across the street. Um, staff, of course, is recommending approval of annexation and the rezoning, but with R15 instead of the R10. We're finding the R15 consistent with the standard for exercise of zoning power, and both requests consistent with the comprehensive plan. But to entertain any further questions you might have. All right. Are there any questions for the staff on this case, or on both of these cases? There being none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this application? Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this application? There being none, discussion is now open amongst the commissioners. There being no discussion, I will now entertain a motion from the commissioners. Um, I guess we'll go with the uh, 2014 01 case to, to follow on um, staff recommendation to rezone 0.89 acres from EA to C on um, to R15. All right, we have a motion by Ms. Nickel. Second. <coughs> and we have a second by Commissioner Rikers. Any discussion on the motion? There being none, all those in favor of the motion, please indicate by raising your hand. All right, the motion passes unanimously.